Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Bubs here, back with a brand new video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the best B4 glitches that still work after the new operation. I'm quickly gonna get through this intro, so enter my confidence giveaway right now. All you gotta do is drop a sub with post notifications and drop a comment telling me if you guys like this new operation. I recently just figured out a new weapon prestige glitch after editing this video so if you guys want that as my next video, let's get 500 likes and I'll drop that ASAP. One of my homies B-Man also got the Veneta DLC weapon to duplicate onto another account and it also sticks. So if you guys want to see that, let me know down below and let's reach that like goal. I was sponsored by eAthlete recently so use my code BUBS13 for a discount on all their cool products. After this 15 second clip, I'm going to show you guys all the best glitches so stay tuned. The advantage is the healthier, cheaper and more effective alternative to energy drinks. And Call of Duty players are already using it to boost their focus, reaction speed and even accuracy. So click through to the website right now to check out the science and reviews for yourself. Now go over to an out of bounds area, pull out the sensor dart and when the counter reaches 0.1 or 0.2, let it go. The dart has to land after you guys die, so you can't let it go early or it's not gonna work. So make sure you guys remember, you gotta be dead before the sensor dart lands or it's not gonna work. I'm gonna speed up the footage and you're gonna see it's not disappearing at all from the background gameplay. So all you need is one Mastercraft on your account and it's also a solo glitch. Now as you guys can see, we don't have the KN Mastercraft and we're gonna be doing the glitch on the KN and then I'll show us doing it with other guns as well. So all you need to do is fill up your class, all 10 of the slots, not 8, not 9, make sure it's full with 10 but leave your primary gun slot empty. Then you guys gotta press find match and quickly go over to that same class and select the Mastercraft that you already have unlocked. For us, it was the ICR. When it says the class is full, just press circle and clear one slot which makes it 9 out of 10 slots. You guys can now go over to the Mastercraft you want and click on that gun. We selected the KN and as you guys can see we got the Mastercraft instead of the original KN. Now this works with any gun that has a Mastercraft or MK2. I did try this with the Hades but I kept getting the error screen so one or two guns might glitch out like that so keep that in mind. So all you want to do is max out your class odds 10 out of 10. Fill them all the way up and be in a public match and uh, looking for a game. Now select the MK2 you already have and then press circle. Take one thing off your class to make it 9 out of 10 and then go over to the gun you want the MK2 on and the XP boost and select that. Make sure that that gun has an MK2 or it's not going to work. You can also do this on any of the Mastercrafts. But for that, instead of selecting an MK2 you already have, just select the Mastercraft that you already have and then select the Mastercraft that you want. You can do this on any of the MK2 guns and it's a great way to get that XP boost on basically all the guns, at least most of the good ones. Mm-hmm. 
So this first glitch requires a keyboard, as we did it on the PC, but it can also be done on the console with the keyboard. After I show the keyboard glitch, I'll show you guys a similar glitch to do, which doesn't require a keyboard, only a controller but it's not nearly as OP. You can shoot in this first one, but not the second one. So all you guys gotta do is change your keybinds. Just change your sprint to hold, set the prone key to anything, but I would recommend using the scroll wheel. That's all you gotta do to the keybinds. You guys can now sprint and spam the prone key you guys use and I would recommend using the scroll wheel. That's all you guys gotta do and you guys can now crawl like a dog and have a really small hitbox and shoot at the same time. I'm gonna play through some more footage of this glitch and then I'll show a similar glitch but with the controller. Now the closest glitch if you guys don't have a keyboard to do the first one is the emo glitch. Everything is basically the same. You have the same hitbox and it's harder to kill you but what sucks is you can't shoot when you're in this glitch and that's why I recommend the first one with the keyboard. You guys can shoot your gun in that glitch. So if you guys want to troll people you guys can do this and it's great for doing that. So make sure you guys get the dart which is the first score streak of 450 points and equip the emote that stays for a very long time. Just pick the one I used which is called winner winner. Now pull out the dart and hold down the R2 button. Go over to your emote and select the long one. When you guys see the circle screen go away and you're about to emote, just let go of the R2 button. It might take a couple tries but once you got it right your first person screen should look very weird. Just crouch down and you guys will have a better camera angle to move around with. Even if you guys do die, you can quickly do the glitch again because you're still gonna have the dart. If you guys do this glitch with the diamond camo and the dark matter camo challenge, you're legit gonna get so much XP. So the first thing you wanna do is set up the network screen by going into your settings and into the network settings. When you guys get to the screen, just double tap the PSN button to get back to BO4. In the future, we're gonna be using the screen by double tapping the PSN button, so keep that in mind. You guys can legit pick any challenge you want, but I would recommend one that gives good XP and choose one that's almost done. You guys can even put together challenges to get more XP, but I'm gonna be explaining that later in the video, so stay tuned for that. Now you guys can see my XP before the glitch and I'll show it after the glitch after everything is done and everything is completed. So this challenge we chose was 5000 XP. Once you got your challenge, just load into a game. Now I'm not going to be deleting any footage or speeding it up because a lot of people in my comment sections always say that he deleted this footage or he was speeding this footage up to make it look like it's real. So I'm going to keep the footage all raw. This way you guys can even tell that the gameplay is legit and even the glitch is legit and this does work after patch 1.17 so try it out for yourself. Once you guys get into a game, just complete that challenge and I'm gonna be right back with you guys once we do that.
So when you guys complete the challenge and you guys see the completion pop up, just double tap the PSN button and you guys should get to the screen automatically because we had it set up. If you guys didn't watch the beginning of the video and you guys skipped the setup, please go back into the video and watch that. The setup helps the glitch work better and more efficiently when it comes to the timing. So when you guys are on this screen, just untick this box for about 5-6 to six seconds and then tick it back up. When you guys do that, just double tap the PSN button to get back to the game and you guys should have the black screen with the BO4 logo at the bottom right. You guys can now load back into BO4 and go back to multiplayer and you're gonna see the XP you gained and the challenge is still there. In the gameplay you guys will be seeing that shortly because I'm not cutting up any footage or speeding it up so you guys know this is all legit and it works after patch 1.17. So I basically showed you guys this old BO4 multiplayer XP glitch but with a better and newer setup via Mads HD. If you guys chose the right challenge with the best XP like 5k and above, you guys can easily gain quick levels. Even high end camo challenges like diamond camo and dark matter bring in way more XP and you guys can even do this on double XP weekend. That would even be a bigger benefit. So all you gotta do is go over to your web browser and search up My Call of Duty on your laptop or computer. Also, shout out to Synquium for letting me use his footage. Make sure you guys go drop him a sub, his link will be down below. When you guys get on the website, just log into your Call of Duty account and all your stats should pop up. Just go over to a uh, player and press on create a class. Now make sure you guys don't have the game open or you guys won't be able to save the class.
Now we're gonna do this with the Koshka, and as you guys can see, the original Koshka is locked, but the MK2 is there to select. We're also gonna show more proof in game. When you guys see, we have the MK2 Koshka equipped, but the original one we don't even have unlocked. As I said before, this is only useful for people that are low levels. Once you got your class made with the locked gun in game, then you guys can press save. If it loads for a long time, then you guys still have your game open so just close your game and it should be done pretty quickly. Now we already had a class made before we started recording and we're gonna show you guys that right now. You guys can even put on camels if you like and nothing's gonna happen to the weapon, it won't disappear. As you guys can see, the Koshka itself is still locked because of our level. Now with this glitch, it allows us to make a class with the MK2 of that weapon no matter what level you guys are or what gun you do it with. The original could still be locked but the glitch allows the MK2 to be selected and played with. Now these are the best glitches in BO4 multiplayer that work after patch 1.20 for the new operation. Also, let's get 500 likes and I'll drop that weapon prestige glitch or the Veneta glitch in my next video and please go follow my Instagram cause I'm trying to reach 1000 followers. But if you guys struggle with this, then drop a comment down below or message me on Twitter to get some help. My Twitter link will be down below in the description and go follow my Instagram to check out some cool clips. Now if this video helped you guys in any way, make sure you guys please smack that subscribe button because that would mean the world to me and we're on the road to uh, 50,000 subscribers so please help out. But before I sign out, make sure you guys share this video with all your friends and family. This has been your boy Bubs and I'm out. Peace. I feel